Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at the new events that are in game from the recent patch. Let's do this. So kicking off with the events, we still have Risk and Rally active. So this I'm not that great at. I'm currently ranked 14th simply because I missed one or two dungeons on my work days. Um, I don't get internet signal when I'm at work so I wasn't able to complete one of them and it's really affected my score overall. Um, but it's not the end of the world, it is what it is. Next up we have Sunfall Reliquary Grotto which I'll come back to in a second. We have Revenant Market still in game. Wild Brawl, which I've not done, Shady Stock, and we also have Overflowing Arsenal, which is a new event. So this gives you different legendary gear items, and there's weekly tasks here as well. So you can see there's Terror Rifts, 3, 6, and then Elder Rifts, Random Dungeons, Bounties, Delete, um, delete Defeat Elite Monsters, and some other bits there as well. Now, the rewards for this, you get to claim the items that you want, so there's a select amount of each type, but you can also change the class. So if you're someone that does class change, or if you're looking for a specific item for a specific class, this might be quite a good event for you to take part in and make sure that you complete the goals so that you can get the legendary items. And you can see for each type of legendary item, it is available on all classes as well. So that one's quite good if you are considering class swapping, like I said. So back to the Sunfall Reliquary Grotto, you can see my free uh, draw gave me the bound gem fragments, so five bound gem fragments, that's not too bad because that will help with legendary gem upgrades. But what we're going to do is we're going to spend some orbs to get a couple of the other rewards here. So I'm going to use 240 orbs and this is actually going to give me 12 Telluric Pearls, there we go. So. That's actually amazing value, um, Telluric Pearls are great if you have 5 star gems that you're working on upgrading. Definitely recommend um, buying some orbs just for that. It's not going to be too expensive and you will get something that is really beneficial. Now, I was umming and ahhing over whether or not to use some more of the orbs. But I figured if I use some more, I'll get six more of the legendary crest, which will give me ten. And then the remaining orbs I can use for eternal crests as well. So we're going to draw one more time for 600 of whatever they call it, 600 orbs we'll, instead of whatever the actual tokens are. And there we go, we've got six legendary crests, so that's ten in total. So we're going to go ahead and run these now and see if we get anything decent. Now, as always, we're obviously going to hope for a couple of five-star gems, but I also don't want to get my hopes up too much because I know that I'm not due any five-star gems anytime soon. And also, when they do drop, I've been finding that most of the time I'm only getting two out of five quality, which is fine in a way because there's no legendary gems that I'm specifically looking for anymore. However, I would really still like to get a higher quality Roiling Consequence or... Um, gloom cast because both of those that I'm using currently are only rank 3 or quality 3 should I say um, oh we have these demon spires here so this is my favourite modifier in an elder rift is the demon spires because they will drop extra loot which sometimes just means scrap material other times you might get lucky and you might actually get legendary items from this um, but you'll see uh, as we get to the boss how much loot you actually get from destroying those spires a lot more drops from using them so boss is about to spawn now i've gone the wrong way and we have the crusader king let's take him down hope for some good gems you can see all the gear that is dropping from having those demon spires so they are really worth looking for if you get them in a rift unfortunately there is no white beam so this means it's all going to be one and two star gems obviously these are not sellable gems so this will all be used for gem power so let's have a little look at what we've got from this first run so not completely awful we have only got two two star gems um but like i said these will all be used for gem power anyway i'm gonna run the eternal crests with a mix of rare crests as well now so let's see if we get anything else and hopefully something a little better You can see we have four eternal crests in total for this run and one of these is crafted from the fading embers so every week if you don't already do so make sure you cap your elder rifts because they will give you fading embers and then you'll be able to craft eternal crests so i make sure i cap my rifts every week for this reason simply so that i can craft those eternal crests you can also use fading ember fading embers sorry to 
craft legendary gems now it will give you a random legendary gem it does give you the chance of a five star gem however the last time i risked using all my embers for that i actually only got a one star gem so i will not be doing that anytime soon although on the diablo facebook page i have seen some players who have gotten high quality five star gems so it's up to you if you want to take that gamble i always prefer just to go for the crest and then at least i've got a gem that is sellable so boss has now spawned let's see what we get from this drop so there will be four legendary gems in total and these will all be sellable no white beam once again so these are all going to be one or two star gems so it looks like we've got two two star and two one star yep and these two star gems aren't too bad they're ones that actually have higher value in the market than some of the others so that's not too bad but that is it from me today i hope you've enjoyed this video and as always thank you so much for watching and have a great day